Good evening. Please stand for the Sunshine Bell Choir's rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, as well as their performance of I Love to See You Smile. The Sunshine Bell Choir represents Sunshine Communities, a provider of support services to individuals with developmental disabilities since 1950. The Sunshine Bell Choir was founded in, in October 2012 with a group of five individuals. They currently have 11 individuals who perform to allow every person's unique talents and gifts to shine. Rehearsals are held weekly at their campus in Maumee for 30 to 40 minutes. Public performances build confidence, strengthen self-discipline, and sharpen communication and social skills. They've performed at churches, businesses, libraries, retirement communities, area rotary clubs, and preschools, just to name a few. The stage tonight is the largest performance area in their history. Please welcome to the stage the Sunshine Bell Choir.
Welcome to Songfest 2024. The title of this year's competition is Rocky's Roaring Records. My name is Adam Fredericks, and accompanying me tonight is Emma Comiskey. Songfest started in 1937 as a singing and dancing competition between U Toledo fraternities on the lawn outside of University Hall. Over the past 87 years, Songfest has grown to include sororities and other student organizations and has been held at many different locations, including the Student Union Steps, the Field House, the Peristyle, and the Seagate Center, before finally arriving to its current home, Savage Arena. Before we begin this competition, allow me to introduce your master and mistress of ceremonies, Mr. Samuel Newberger and Miss Greta Faubert. Greta is a senior studying cosmetic science and formulation design in the College of Pharmacy and is from Royal Oak, Michigan. She is a proud sister of Alpha Omicron Pi, where she will leave a legacy through her remarkable leadership in positions such as Vice President of Membership Recruitment and Vice President of Membership Experience. Greta is also the current sweetheart of Kappa Delta Rho and President of Order of Omega Greek Honor Society, where she leads the top 5% of Greek leaders on U Toledo's campus. She is also involved in Mortarboard Senior National Honor Society, Cosmetic Chemist Society, and Alpha Zeta Omega Pharmaceutical Fraternity. As if her involvement doesn't keep her busy enough, you can also see her rocket pride on full display when working in the undergraduate admissions office as an admissions ambassador. Greta is honored to be able to represent the Peppers chapter of Mortarboard Senior National Honor Society tonight and to have the opportunity to give back to such a, an amazing organization, Sunshine Communities. Sam is a senior from Norwalk, Ohio, studying biology with a focus on ecology and organismal biology in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. He's the vice president of Blue Key National Honor Society and a proud brother of Kappa Delta Rho, where he led as president in 2023, leaving an unforgettable impact. He is also a sister of Alpha Omicron Pi as their 2023 sweetheart. Sam has also been a member of Mortarboard National Senior Honor Society, Order of Omega, and the Society of Environmental Advocates, just to name a few. Tonight, he is proud to be the MC representing the ARCS chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society. Before we welcome them to the stage, please enjoy this opening video of our MCs. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. My name is Samuel Newberger. And I'm Greta Fobear. And we are your Songfest 2024 MCs. Songfest is the University of Toledo's second oldest tradition. Dating back to 1937. This event was created to foster unity amongst campus fraternities. Only fraternities? Since then, we've expanded to include the women's and co-ed divisions. All of our organizations have been working so hard over the past couple of months and we're so excited to watch them perform for you tonight. We have had the pleasure of welcoming Sunshine Communities as the chosen philanthropy for Songfest 2024. Over the past couple of months, we've had the opportunity to see what happens when the Rocket Community, Toledo Community, and so many great individuals come together to support people of all ages with developmental disabilities. That, that all culminates today. today. On one stage. For one night, we present to you Songfest 2024. Rocky's Roaring Records. Thank you, Steve. Good evening, and welcome to Songfest 2024, Rocky's Roaring Records. I would like to take this time to uh, apologize to our parents who are probably freaking out right about now, but thank you all for attending our 87th annual event. I would like to recognize our judges for tonight's competition. Will the judges please stand and wave to the crowd as your name is called? Our first judge of the night is Dr. Gabriella Bakke. 
Gabriella Bakke is an associate professor at the U Toledo College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. She is the program director and instructor of various lectures and laboratories in the Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences, Cosmetic Science, and Formulation Design major. In addition to teaching, Dr. Bakke has a research lab with a focus on the topical delivery of active ingredients, sensory testing of creams and lotions, and sun protection boosting technologies. Dr. Baki is also a public speaker and author. She has made over 35 technical presentations, written over 45 publications, and has a book, Introduction to Cosmetic Formulation and Technology. It's second edition published by John Wiley and Sons in January of 2023. Dr. Baki is also actively involved in the broader cosmetic science community and serves on multiple committees and boards at the national level. Our second judge for the night is Susan Gilmore. Susan Gilmore is a lawyer, CPA, and former member of the UT Board of Trustees. She holds a degree from the UT College of Law, as well as graduate and undergraduate accounting degrees from the College of Business and Innovation, and served as a member of the College of Law faculty as an instructor from 1994 to 2004. Currently, she serves as the Vice President of Human Resources at Waterford Bank. In addition to her professional pursuits, Susan has a passion for music. She previously worked as a professional vocalist with the Johnny Knorr Orchestra and remains active in the music scene, performing with various jazz musicians throughout Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Deeply committed to her alma mater, Susan is an avid supporter of UT. She is a member of UT's Women in Philanthropy and holds membership in the President's Club. Beyond her involvement with the university, Susan contributes to the community by serving on the Victory Center Board of Trustees and the Susan G. Komen Leadership Council. Next, Cherie Madison Emery. Cherie Madison Emery began her professional career as the Director of Training and Development at the Toledo Restaurant Training Center. She then went on to become a secretary and adjunct instructor at Owens Community College. She taught communication classes for seven years and during her sixth year was promoted from secretary to manager of academic advising. Cherie started working at the University of Toledo in 2013 as an academic advisor for criminal justice. In 2013, she moved over to the Division of Student Affairs in the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership, working as a program manager with our fraternities and sororities. Cherie is a member of Summit Academy Toledo's Board of Directors and Alumni Association Board of Trustees. A U Toledo alumnus, Cherie earned her Master of Education in 2005 and a Bachelor of Business Administration in Human Resources in 2000. She joined Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated Beta Lambda Chapter in 1997 and Alpha Kappa Psi, the professional business fraternity Gamma Eta Chapter in 1998 here at U Toledo. Lastly, we have Jacqueline Hodling O'Neill. Jacqueline Hodling O'Neill is a board certified music therapist for Heartstring Melodies Music Therapy, offering services in Toledo and other parts of Northwest Ohio. While in the community, she offers music therapy to individuals living with disabilities, mental illness, neurocognitive conditions, as well as services to families and organizations who want to explore music as a resource for their health and well being. Jacqueline is also the program director of Be Instrumental a Toledo nonprofit that strives to make music experiences, education, and performance opportunities equally accessible to children in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. In both roles, Jacqueline believes in the impact that music engagement can have on a community and has seen it firsthand since coming to Toledo. She is grateful for the opportunity to be a part of Songfest. Before we begin tonight's competition, we would like to recognize our chosen philanthropy for the night, Sunshine Communities. Roy and Georgia Engler had five children with developmental disabilities at a time when, in the United States, people with developmental disabilities were institutionalized. The Englers cared for their children at home and visited numerous state institutions to see what other care options were available. 
Those institutions were appalling to the anglers who decided they could better serve children like their own with better living conditions and a loving environment. In 1950, with the help of a nearby Mennonite congregation, the Anglers founded Sunshine Children's Home next to their own house in Maumee, Ohio. They served children with developmental disabilities from the greater Toledo area. Word quickly spread across the country about Sunshine's innovative approach to care. By 1962, 60 children were living at Sunshine, supported by a staff of 40 that included nursing care and a contracted physician. Today, Sunshine supports 250 individuals with a staff of 430. Services include residential, clinical, vocational, and transportation. Sunshine provides employment through their cafe known as Georgette's. It is Lucas County's oldest, oldest coffee shop. They also own Sunshine Studios, where artists of all abilities can enjoy making art together. Sunshine hosts numerous events and work projects annually that use volunteers. In the past few years, 20 different groups from New Toledo provided an average of 600 volunteers annually. These groups include Blue Key, Toledo Women's Softball, New Toledo Rec Therapy, UTMC Nursing Program, Pre-Nursing Association, Engineering Society, Big Event, Mortarboard, Pi Kappa Phi, Sigma Gamma Rho, Phi Sigma Rho, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Alpha Omicron Pi, Alpha Chi Omega, Chi Omega, Kappa Delta, Delta Delta Delta, Pi Beta Phi, Phi Eta Sigma, Alpha Z Delta, and Delta Phi Epsilon. The money fundraised tonight will contribute to Sunshine's mission, which is to create a community among people with developmental disabilities, their friends, families, and staff. They do this by offering services that enable all of us to build relationships that enhance our lives through mutual caring and growth. The University of Toledo is integral to Sunshine being part of our community. The inclusiveness of the student body to Sunshine's individuals is appreciated and celebrated. The funds raised tonight will go towards renovations in the homes on main campus. My name is Erica and I'm a member of the Philanthropy Committee for Songfest 2024. My name's Greta and I'm the motorboard representative for Songfest. Today we are here at Georgette's Coffee Shop, one of Sunshine Community's employment centers this year's Songfest Philanthropy. Today we're gonna to take you around Sunshine Communities, introduce you to some representatives, and learn more about what Sunshine does in our local community. Welcome to Sunshine Communities. I'm Cindy Kerr, I'm the Vice President of Community Relations, and I wanna show my appreciation back to you for what the University of Toledo is doing for us, and also give you some background on Sunshine. In 1950, Sunshine was formed from a couple who had five children with developmental disabilities. They had no support services at that time, and they sought out um, to actually institutionalize their children, which was being advised to them through the medical community. They came back and said, our children, nor should any child ever go to an institution, so we're going to form our own. And so in 1950, we formally opened our doors and welcomed their five children, that population growth exploded here at Sunshine, and today we serve 250 people on a daily basis with over 430 employees. We provide uh, medical services, vocational services, so we teach job skills and daily life skills. Um, we have therapies, for instance, like physical therapy, occupational and speech therapy, and we do community events. In fact, we had over 20 groups from the University of Toledo last year, and we brought over 600 people who volunteered here. So I want to welcome you today, and we're going to do a quick tour and an overview so that you know where your donations are going to and how you can impact us in the future. Hi, I'm Elise Brooks. I'm a program manager at Sunshine Communities. I love working at Sunshine because of the community and the individuals. I actually have a family member that's been with the community for a long time, and she's actually the reason that I'm here working because I saw the care that was given to her, the love that was shown to her. And here at Sunshine, we pride ourselves on connection. We pride ourselves on community and getting our individuals to have a normal life so that they know that they are special. Your donations will help our individuals' homes look more like a home where it's not institutionalized. We pride ourselves on setting an environment that's home-like, whether it's their bedroom, their bathroom, everything to benefit our individuals so that they will feel more like at home. I'm gonna bring you into our barn right now where we provide employment here. We actually have several employment sites here at Sunshine where we teach job skills, where we teach relationship, um, where they get to 
take those job skills back out into the community and maybe seek other employment in other places. These are important about developing a whole person. And so we're excited that Sunshine offers these types of activities. My name's Ron Mack, I work at the barn. And this is Nancy, my baby. Her likes to walk with me all the time. Yeah. And Robbie, can you share how long you've been working in the barn? I've been in the barn till seven, seven years. I started from the greenhouse to coming to the barn. And why do you like working in the barn? Um, I like working with animals because blue is my favorite um, pony. And so what animals actually live there? Um, we got rabbits and minis and pigs and llamas. And sometimes we go down to the base and do birds and stuff. So Robbie's actually learning job skills here, and he's an employee like I am, and we love working for Sunshine. You love working for Sunshine with me? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. My name is Larry Knight. I'm the manager here at Sunshine Studios. The studio's been here in August. It'll be 10 years. We have 14 individuals that work here. The back is called an integrated group. They volunteer out in the community and the clay room they create all the stuff that we make for the gallery and we do several art shows a year and they make the items for that and you're able to come in and purchase them to help support the studio also we do community classes you can go to sunshinestudio.org and you can see the full list of classes there by clicking on the little icon that says classes you can also follow us on Twitter and also on Instagram. We do post items there when we have new items, events coming up, and things like that. I want to thank everyone at the university for what you've done for us. How can you help? You can volunteer. You can come to our studios and make a purchase here of art, take one of our classes here, order Georgette's and purchase one of our bags of coffee or just stop in the cafe and have a meal. Sunshine Community relies on our community to give back, and we're very appreciative of what you have done for us. Thank you. Before we begin tonight's competition, we would like to pay tribute to Cheryl Thomas. Cheryl Thomas served the University of Toledo for 26 years. She was one of the most beloved individuals on campus and believed in the power of our student leaders. During her tenure at the institution, she worked in various offices, including the Office of First Year Experience, Study Abroad, the Center of International Studies and Programs, and finally for the Vice President of Student Affairs and Dean of Students. In each of these roles, Cheryl got to showcase her passion for working with students and celebrating what it means to be a rocket. Cheryl received her bachelor's degree in liberal studies from the university in 2017 and was recognized in April 2022 with the Dr. Alice Skeen's Outstanding Woman Award from the University Women's Commission. She received the University of Toledo's Shining Star Award and Classified Staff Award in 2004. Finally, she was a proud honorary member of Blue Key Honor Society, inducted in 2018. In Cheryl's loving memory, we are including an important award in Songfest this year. The Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award is meant to be a reflection of Cheryl's advocacy and empowerment of the Rocket community. Everyone will be able to cast a vote for the organization of their choosing through a donation to Sunshine Communities. You can vote from now until 7.50 p.m. tonight through the donation station placed on the main concourse. Once again, you can vote for the organization of your choosing through the donation station at the main concourse until 7.50 p.m. At the end of the night, the organization with the highest amount of money raised will win the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. The 17 groups participating in tonight's competition will be evaluated in the areas of dance, originality, stage presence, usage of props, and most importantly, vocal quality. Each group has worked hard for months to put together a truly incredible show for you this evening. Without further delay, we present you with Songfest 2024, Rocky's Roaring Records.
Sigma Alpha Epsilon, founded on March 9, 1856, at the University of Alabama, saw the establishment of the Ohio New Chapter at the University of Toledo in 1953. This fraternity is built upon four core values, loyalty, friendship, honor, and fraternity. Its philanthropic endeavors include initiatives such as Children's Miracle Network, NMDP, Movember, and Sleep in Heavenly Peace. The chapter actively en engages in various campus activities, including Pay It Forward, the University Cheer Team, Circle K, Order of Omega, and Levis Leadership. Notably, it raised over $1,300 for Children's Miracle Network through a grilled cheese fundraiser and was awarded the IFC Chapter of the Year in 2022. Tonight, join Sigma Alpha Epsilon as they tell the story of falling in love at the greatest university in the world. Audience members will be brought back to that first time they saw that special someone, whether it be in University Hall, at a football game, or at one of the many other great places Toledo has to offer. Presenting SAE's Rocket Romance.
Alpha Sigma Phi, established on December 6th, 1845 at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, witnessed the founding of the Beta Rho chapter on March 13th, 1937. This fraternity is rooted in the core values of silence, charity, purity, honor, and patriotism, with a vast network of over 98,000 lifetime members. The Beta Rho chapter annually raises funds for worthy causes such as Homes for Our Troops, Stop Hazing, Rain, Shatterproof, and Active Minds. In addition to its philanthropic efforts, Alpha Sigma Phi maintains a prominent on-campus presence, evidenced by its victory in the Greek Week Awards for Spring 2022 and a third place finish in Homecoming of 2022. Tonight, Alpha Sigma Phi is ready to turn back the clock and groove to the greatest hits. Relive the magic of timeless classics and chart-topping tunes that have shaped generations. Presenting, Rewind Through the Greatest Hits with Alpha Sig.
Sigma Phi Epsilon, established at 19 in 1901 at Richmond College in Richmond, Virginia, witnessed the founding of the Ohio IOTA chapter on September 30th, 1950. Guided by the core values of virtue, diligence, and brotherly love, SIGEP boasts a membership of over 350,000 lifetime members, solidifying its position as one of the largest national fraternities. Annually, the Ohio IOTA chapter dedicates itself to aiding families in need within the Toledo area through various philanthropic and service endeavors, culminating in raising over $4,000 for charities in the past year. Noteworthy achievements include winning homecoming last year and having members represented in esteemed campus organizations. Additionally, the chapter secured a second place finish in Songfest last year. Tonight, join the brothers of Sigma Phi Epsilon for a performance dedicated to celebrating the most important relationship of all, the one with yourself. Being at the top of the charts is great, but the only way you'll get there is by following your heart and pulling yourself up. Presenting SIGEP Seek Seek Self Love.
In 1905, the founders of Kappa Delta Rho came together to create a brotherhood that promotes holding honor before all things. Eighty years later, the Pi Alpha chapter was established at the University of Toledo by a group of young, inspiring men. These brothers raised money for their national philanthropy, the Be Positive Foundation, and Snowpile, which was founded by ambitious alumni. Continuously growing, brothers stay involved in the Interfraternity Council, student government, mortar board, and so much more. Their dedication and talent have not gone unnoticed. They clinched first place at Songfest 2022, third place at Songfest 2023, and second place in Homecoming of 2023. Individually, their members shine as well, with recipients of the Leo T. Wolford Award for campus involvement. Furthermore, their commitment to philanthropy is unwavering, as demonstrated by raising the most money for Songfest 2023, showcasing their dedication to supporting worthy causes and making a tangible difference in the lives of others. Tonight, Kappa Delta Rho would like to highlight the importance of brotherhood. If you ever feel all by yourself, KDRs will make it better and show the world that you're still standing. Please join me in welcoming to the stage my brothers of Kappa Delta Rho with the helping hand of brotherhood.
Pi Kappa Phi was established nationally on December 10th, 1904, and was chartered locally at the University of Toledo on December 8th, 1951. Pi Kappa Phi is the only fraternity to own and operate its own philanthropy, the Ability Experience. Pi Kappa Phi is involved on campus in Order of Omega, PSC, EA Pi, and numerous other clubs and organizations. Their commitment to service and community engagement is evident in their notable achievements. Pi Kappa Phi secured a spot in the top three in homecoming 2023, so showcasing their spirit and dedication to campus festivities. Additionally, their impact extends beyond campus boundaries as they have raised over $10,000 for the ability experience in the past three years, embodying their commitment to making a positive difference in the lives of others. Tonight, let PiCap be your guide on a, gu on a love adventure where every moment is a chance to share and connect. Join them as they navigate through the heartwarming experiences that make love a remarkable and unforgettable journey. Presenting Love, What You Do To Me by Pi Kappa Phi.
established in 1856 at Norwich University, Theta Chi Fraternity has built itself upon the values of truth, temperance, and tolerance. With 245 chapters internationally today and more than 200,000 initiated members, Theta Chi has continuously lived by their motto, Assisting Hand. Involved in a variety of collegiate sports and clubs, the Delta Theta chapter has continuously pursued leadership opportunities, such as IFC and Order of Omega. Serving the greater, greater Toledo area, Theta Chi has also assisted in Cherry Street Mission and Seagate Food Bank. Theta Chi has supported the USO nationally for over a decade. Their dedication to service and community engagement is further exemplified through their achievements. Theta Chi received the Sacred Purpose Award, recognizing their commitment to their core values and mission. Tonight, Theta Chi combines the tropical allure of the beach with the neon lit excitement of Miami in their electrifying performance, presenting the Theta Scape.
The Phi Kappa Psi fraternity was founded on February 19, 1852 at Jefferson College in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. The Ohio Ada chapter at the University of Toledo was established on October 21st, 1950 by assimilating the local Sigma Beta Phi fraternity. Every year, they raise money for their national philanthropy, the Boys and Girls Club, through Phi Psi Quesadillas. Their predecessors, the Sig Bates, were the originators of Songfest. Their commitment to service and engagement extends beyond their fraternity walls, evident in their notable achievements. In 2023 alone, they fundraised an impressive $10,000, showcasing their dedication to making a positive impact. Moreover, their members' involvement in the prestigious organizations like Order of Omega and Mortarboard reflects their commitment to academic and leadership excellence. In 2022, they were recognized as the highest fundraising fraternity for Songfest and have raised $2,000 for the Boys and Girls Club in the past year further highlighting their dedication to philanthropic endeavors. Tonight, take a trip down memory lane with Phi Kappa Psi as they perform the grooviest hits. So sit back, relax, and maybe even get a little funky. Presenting Funky Phi Psi.
That concludes our men's division for this evening. Thank you all for the amazing performances. What I love most about Songfest is how close we get as a sorority during it and how it's all for a great cause. So it's like the best of both worlds. And I love most about it um, is how supportive everyone is um, of all the performers. Um, and it uh, brings the community together, the Greek life community. Favorite part about Songfest is all the new surprises that I've encountered so far. Honestly, seeing everyone's musical talents because a lot of people are really shy about singing and then just putting themselves out there and you get to sing. And you'll be surprised, like some people are pretty good. They're just, need, you know, need a little oomph, that's all. My favorite part, honestly, is just the day of the performance, getting ready, hanging out with all the guys and getting ready to uh, perform. I'd say the same exact thing and just getting closer with my brothers as we're performing is the best thing. My favorite part about Songfest is those last couple weeks coming down to the performance and all the bonding that we get to do with the girls in our chapter, it's a lot of fun. My favorite part about Songfest is how close I get to get with all of the people in our chapter. I like getting out of my comfort zone and doing something my parents back home wouldn't expect. I really like being able to hang out with all of our sweethearts that help out a lot. Wendy, Debbie, Daylene, love you guys, appreciate all the help. What we love most about Songfest is just seeing the dance come together and being with each other and raising like good money for a great philanthropy. So. Yeah, I definitely agree. Spending time with our sisters and also everyone putting 100% effort um, for a really good cause. What I love most about Songfest is practicing with CSA at Corpus Christi. Uh, it's just getting everybody together and raising money for philanthropy. You know, just being around the chapter and the boys, you know, having a good time. Everyone's, you know, attempting to dance, so it was very fun. <laughs> the thing I love most about Song Pass is just raising money for a charity and also getting to get closer to my sisters in the process. I think my favorite part is performing and going back to dancing on stage. My favorite part of Song Fest is the smiles I see on everyone's face after a performance. It really just makes all of the hours you spend practicing worth it. I love most about Song Fest is seeing our like plans and visions for the whole set come to life and see everything on stage finally. My favorite part about Songfest is not only getting time to, spot, to bond with your sisters, but it's also for a good cause and raising money for the community. Um, I love being able to get closer to my sisters while doing what I love and raising awareness for a local organization. I love seeing all the other organizations come together to raise money for a local community. My favorite part of Songfest has got to be the traditions that surround it and how all the alumni are so involved and that how it, it unites all of Toledo. My favorite part of Songfest is the energy from the song and dance. I love dancing with all the homies. I love that it inspires philanthropic efforts and allows me to get closer with my sisters. I love how Songfest fosters a sense of community in all of our organizations and then we come together to support a local philanthropy. My favorite thing about Songfest is um, getting closer with my sisters, very, very close, and then also coming together as a Toledo community. ISA is representation of international community on campus, inheriting its diversity and culture from all around the world. They value kindness, leadership, cultural growth, individuality, and community service. Recently, ISA has had a long stretch of homecoming royalty, and just last year, a member of ISA won Homecoming King. This year, ISA is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Tonight, Join ISA on a mesmerizing journey of musical harmony around the globe. In this performance, diverse cultures and countries unite through the universal language of music, creating a symphony that transcends borders and celebrates the rich tapestry of our global heritage found on campus. Presenting ISA's Harmony Around the Globe.
thankful that it's such a blessing, yeah. To every situation in the heaven, yeah. Oh, oh, you are. My sunrise of the darkest days. Got me feeling some kind of way. Make me want to say for every moment slowly, slowly. The Catholic Student Association was founded in 1939. CSA is one of the largest co-ed student organization on UT's campus. It strives to serve as the presence of Jesus Christ on campus, hosting many events throughout the year at Corpus Christi University Parish, located across Door Street. CSA proudly serves as a home away from home for all students. They foster spiritual, social, academic, and service-based growth through various events and activities in and around the city of Toledo. Tonight, the Catholic Student Association is not only on fire for Jesus Christ, but they are bringing the heat with their favorite Hot 100 hits. Join them as they raise the temperature tonight in Savage Arena, presenting CSA, Turning Up the Heat.
thank you to all of the co-ed organizations and performers. We truly enjoyed watching your wonderful performances. It is my pleasure to bring to the stage the current president of Motorboard, Ms. Jada Alcantara, to the stage as she recognizes the current class of Motorboard and introduces the new class of 2024 to 2025. Good evening, my name is Jada Alcantara and I am the current president of Mortarboard National College Senior Honor Society at the University of Toledo. Mortarboard recognizes students from the junior and continuing senior classes for their achievements in three important areas of leadership, scholarship, and service. There are over 200 Mortarboard chapters nationwide and the University of Toledo is proud to host the Peppers chapter on its campus. At this time, we would like to recognize the current 2023-2024 class and the 2024-2025 class, which will be the 100th class of Peppers at the University of Toledo. Connor Addison tapping Aiden Berry. Aiden is involved in student government, Pi Kappa Alpha, the Interfraternity Council, the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, and Order of Omega. Olivia Castle tapping Lauren Perry. Lauren is involved in Pi Beta Phi, Brady Partnership Schools, Order of Omega, and Gamma Sigma Alpha. Emma Kamiski tapping Isabel Fahey. Bell is involved in the Panhellenic Association, Alpha Omicron Pi, Rocket Service Dogs, Lambda Sigma, and Relay for Life. Tarek Davaluri tapping Sean Hanna. Sean is involved in Bridge U Toledo, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Blue Key, Lambda Sigma, and Presidential Ambassadors. <laughs> Greta Fulbert tapping Nora Gill. Nora is involved in the Filipino American Association, Kappa Delta Rho, Pre-Nursing Student Organization, and the Parks Tower Hall Council. Jamie Goldman tapping Lauren Moskal. Lauren is involved in Circle K International, Treat People with Kindness, Alpha Z Delta, and Rockathon. Snake DeGorthy tapping Sakhirth Boyapali. Sakhirth is involved in Rocket Responders, CAF, Beta Beta Beta, PHAC Ambassadors, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Camp Kesem, CLAR, and Lambda Sigma. Holly Heck tapping Vanessa Heck. Vanessa is involved in the Panhellenic Association, Kappa Delta, Presidential Ambassadors, Alpha Epsilon Delta, Bridge U Toledo, Lambda Sigma, Rocket Service Dogs, Relay for Life, and UT Avengers Assemble. Dima Herzala tapping Dylan Hershey. Dylan is involved in Levis Leadership, Red Cross Club, Big Event, Delta Rho Tau, Bridge U Toledo, Club Table Tennis, HHS Ambassadors, Presidential Ambassadors, and Lambda Sigma. Lily Hip Picky tapping Mai Meng. Mai is involved in the International Students Association, Ignition, Period, Rockathon, Women in Business Leadership, and HR Management. Braden Holloway tapping Nathan Simpson. Nate is involved in Omega Chi Epsilon, Kappa Delta Rho, Order of Omega, Student Government, Toledo Launchpad, and AICHE and UT Snowpile. Ren Jackson tapping Shudant Gotham. Shudant is involved in Camp Kesem, Rocket Responders, Bridge U Toledo, Sigma Phi Epsilon, and PHAC Ambassadors. Megan Carl tapping Mackenzie Saville. Mackenzie is involved in College Mentors for Kids, Chi Omega, UT Snowpile, Treat People with Kindness, and Pay It Forward. Abigail Kohler tapping Madeline Miller. Maddie is involved in the Panhellenic Association, Alpha Z Delta, Pi Sigma Epsilon, and Circle K International. Amol Coley tapping Rohan Paramsetti. Rohan is involved in CAF, Camp Pesum, CLAR, The Peace Project, Alpha Epsilon Delta, Psi Chi, and Sigma Phi Epsilon. Jacob Lombardi tapping Derek Ritzman. 
Derek is involved in College Mentors for Kids, Big Event, Kappa Delta Rho, Lambda Sigma, and UT Snowpile. Samuel Newberger tapping Adam Fredericks. Adam is involved in the Interfraternity Council, Kappa Delta Rho, Blue Key, Rally Cap, Pre-Nursing Student Organization, Global Medical Brigades, Bridge U Toledo, Clinical Skills, and UT First Gen Pre-Med Association. Gavin Pokersnick tapping Rudy Dua. Rudy is involved in Launchpad, Blue Key, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Beta Beta Beta, Bridge U Toledo, Rocketbond, Presidential Ambassadors, and Alpha Epsilon Delta. Lane Ribby tapping Madeline Wilson. Madeline is involved in student government, Delta Delta Delta, Snow Pile, Circle K International, and Compulsion Dance. Corinne Rubel tapping Shiloh Waltz. Shiloh is involved in Alpha Z Delta, Pi Sigma Epsilon, the Panhellenic Association, Chi Epsilon, FYRE, Big Event, and Order of Omega. Karam Sandu tapping Emma Sorocek. Emma is involved in the Peace Project, Rocket Service Dogs, Charge, Alpha Z Delta, Bridge U Toledo, Camp Kesem, Order of Omega, and UT Avengers Assemble. Colin Twos tapping Yashwanth by Reddy. Yashwanth is involved in Student Government, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Bridge U Toledo, Beta Beta Beta, Alpha Epsilon Delta, and NSLS. Brianna Trika tapping Rashawn Sarol. Rashawn is involved in Levis Leadership, Autism Awareness, Relay Her Life, Rockathon, Lambda Sigma, Sigma Phi Epsilon, and Bridge U Toledo. Molly Malk tapping Matthew Forsoffel and Amala Babu Thomas. Matthew is involved in the Catholic Student Association, Information Systems Advisory Council, CLAR, Ballroom Dance Society, and the Institute of Internal Auditors. Amala is involved in the Catholic Student Association, Presidential Ambassadors, and the Engineering Leadership Institute. <laughs> Ruthie Soriano tapping Emma Spradling. Emma is involved in NSSLHA, CLAR, Alpha Phi Omega, and the Catholic Student Association. Lastly, myself tapping Carly Barney. Carly is involved in the Panhellenic Association, Kappa Delta, Pre-Dental Club, and Presidential Ambassadors. I would also like to recognize two members who were unable to make it tonight, Sarah Finger of the 2023-2024 class and Elise Hoffman of the 2024-2025 class. Please join me in congratulating the current and new members of the Peppers chapter of Mortarboard. At this time, I would like to welcome to the podium Mr. Gavin Pokersnick. My name is Gavin Pokersnick, and I am the current Vice President of the Peppers Chapter of Mortarboard National College Senior Honor Society here at the University of Toledo. We would now like to present our Mortarboard Outstanding Underclassman of the Year Award. The Mortarboard Outstanding Underclassman of the Year Award is granted to sophomore students with above a 3.3 GPA with selection based on scholastic achievements, awards, campus involvement, and community service. This year, both the male and female underclassmen were chosen. Our male Underclassman of the Year recipient has already made a positive impact in only two years at this university. Not only has this individual maintained a 3.8 GPA while majoring in criminal justice, he has shown exemplary efforts in leadership and service throughout the Toledo community. Distinguished by the roles as Vice President of his fraternity, Kappa Delta Rho, and President, and President of his service fraternity, Alpha Phi Omega, this student has showcased exceptional leadership qualities. Serving along other organizations such as Bridge U Toledo, Launchpad, Lambda Sigma, Student Government, and many more. This person understands the importance of contributing to the community in today's world. They actively participate in various initiatives such as Big Event, Rockathon, Cherry Street Missions, the Humane Society, and numerous others, demonstrating their commitment to make a positive impact. This individual embodies what it means to be a servant leader, and we are honored to recognize him for his accomplishments. Please join me in welcoming to the stage our male recipient for this year's Outstanding Underclassman of Year Award, Mr. Chris Madden.
Our female underclassman of the year recipient displays her rocket pride through her various involvement in student organizations. This individual was previously council president of the Residence Hall Association, in addition to currently running as vice president of student government. This individual does not stop there as there are in many organizations such as Pay It Forward, Lambda Sigma, Rockathon, and her sorority, Alpha Omicron Pi. This individual volunteers with a group known as Knits for Charity, where all projects are sent to children with cancer or in hospice care. Furthermore, contributing to Bridge Utilito and Humanity First has provided this individual with a profound understanding of the significance of community service and giving back. On top of all of this, she has maintained a 4.0 GPA as a political science major. This individual exudes a passion for service and leadership, and we were honored to recognize her for her ongoing efforts. While the female recipient was unable to be here tonight, please join me in congratulating her for this year's Outstanding Underclassman of the Year Award, Ms. Ashley Westgate. Cindy Kerr is the Vice President of Community Relations for Sunshine Communities, joining the organization in 2022. Before this role, she was the Executive Director for the Downtown Toledo Improvement District. During her tenure, Downtown Toledo had over $800 million in investment. For her work, she has been recognized by her sorority, Alpha Omicron Pi, with their highest award. She is active with the Toledo Rotary, serves on TARDIS Customer, Customer Advisory Board, helped found Toledo Jeep Fest, and was on the U Toledo Alumni Board. Cindy participated in Songfest during her undergraduate years at U Toledo. Both her husband and son are brothers of Pi Cap Phi and also participated in Songfest. In fact, her husband was part of a three-year run of Pi Cap's winning. Having Sunshine be Songfest philanthropy is especially meaningful given her participation in this historic event. The donations will save lives. Change lives. Sorry. Please help us welcome to the stage Cindy Kerr, the Vice President of Community Relations for Sunshine Communities. Good evening and thank you everyone. It's been a while since I've been on the stage at, as I was a participant in Songfest. Fast forward many years later, in fact going up to last year, my husband and I sat up with the other Greek alumni I looked over to him and said, you know, Sunshine is celebrating 75 years next year. Wouldn't it be incredible if we were next year's philanthropy? And so here we are this year, and I thank you for that. I thank you for the confidential or the anonymous nomination. I thank Wookie and Mortarboard for the vote of confidence in us to make us the philanthropy. I especially thank Pi Kappa Phi for being um, associated with Sunshine for over 43 years now. We appreciate you. Thank you. Of course, the AOPI too, I'm going to give you a shout out. In just the past couple of months, we celebrated um, our longest living resident. She just turned 80. And in just a few short weeks, we're going to be welcoming a toddler to our community who was born premature and is now dependent on a ventilator for his, life, or for his breathing support. In between milestones like that, we go to birthday parties, we listen to music, we go out to eat with our friends, we go to work, we go to the physician's offices, and we do everything just like you do. But your donations tonight bring the fun and the joy in making everyday life memorable there and allowing us to thrive. So from Sunshine Communities and our 250 individuals that we support on a daily basis, thank you. Thank you, Cindy. It is now time for a 10-minute intermission. Please enjoy a performance by Daybach and a few fun videos throughout the break. Daybach is a Korean expression which means simply amazing or very much lit. They are a Korean pop-based dance team at the University of Toledo, and their goal is to spread their love for Korea's pop culture through their Daybach performances. Their team spirit and performances only seem to grow better and stronger after each performance. They are very proud of their members and could not be more grateful to share this journey with you all. 
Tonight, they'll perform a mashup of currently trending Korean pop songs and a popular cover widely known amongst Koreans. They hope you all turn up, bop to their performances, and cheer them on as well. Please welcome Daybok. Nega chee chalaga Nega chee chalaga Nega chee chalaga Mom, <laughs> on TV. <laughs> How close do we stand? Are we in frame? I'm like, do I need to be like? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was that scary? Do I look scary? I'm all nervous. Do you want um, me to hold it? No. <laughs> what were my answers? <laughs> hey, before, did anybody use Carnival yet? No way he's used no. Carnival yet. My favorite number one Billboard song is Low by Flo Rida. My favorite number one song would be Chicken Fried by Zach, Zach Brown Band. Uh, mine would be Empty by Juice World. My favorite number one song is Umbrella by Rihanna. And my favorite number one song is Locked Out of Heaven by Bruno Mars. So my favorite number one song is Forever After All by Luke Combs. 
Mine is Wissy Glasses by Morgan Wallen. Probably Disturbia by Rihanna. Mine is Ribs by Lord. <laughs> uh, Bad Habits by Steve Lacey. Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. Uh, written by Natasha Benningfield. It's gotta be Carnival by Ye. Did you say Ye? Ye. It's Yay. Okay, can we redo it? Yay. <laughs> can we redo it? I always thought, I thought it was Ye. Favorite number one song, it's probably gotta be Take On Me by AHA. I would say my favorite number one film board song is Fantasy by Mariah Carey. Um, I would say mine's First Person Shooter by Drake featuring J. Cole. My favorite number one song is All Star. My favorite number one song is Man Eater by Hall & Oates. Is this seriously yay? It's yay. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't say Carnival anymore now. Dude, his name's Kanye. yay. So it's yay. How do you spell ye? Y-E-E. -E. Okay, whatever. <laughs> My favorite number one song is This Is How You Remind Me by Nickelback. Mine is What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. Uh, definitely has to be Can't Fight This Feeling by Ario Speedwagon. Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. Great song. My favorite number one song would be Happy by Pharrell Williams. Forever After All by Luke Combs. Wasted on You by Morgan Wallen. It's gotta be Billionaire by Bruno Mars. Favorite number one song? Um, Jimmy Cooks, Drake, and 21 Savage. No, you don't get Carnival anymore. My favorite artist right now is Noah Khan. And my favorite artist is Adele. My favorite artist is Nickelback. Mine's Alba. I'd have to say Morgan Wallen right now. And I'm gonna go with Luke Combs. Favorite artist, definitely Sir Elton John. Can't go wrong with that. Noah Khan. Big time rush. <laughs> Tame and Paula. <laughs> My favorite artist is Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Favorite artist is Frank Ocean. Bruno Marsh. <laughs> Morgan Wallen. Zach Ryan. Kesha. <laughs> Say it with pride. Rihanna. There you go. <laughs> uh, my favorite artist is Bozzy. Uh, mine right now definitely is Frank Ocean. Uh, my favorite artist would probably be Luke Bryan. Uh, mine would probably be either Yeet or Juice World, depending on how I'm feeling. Fleetwood Mac. Definitely Taylor Swift. Definitely Fleetwood Mac. Definitely. Smash Mouth. The Smiths. Tyler, the creator. Good job. Thanks for making that complicated.
Sean. Very like Sean. Okay. Welcome back to Songfest 2024, Rocky's Roaring Records. At this time, could I ask everyone to please return to your seats so we can proceed with the show. We would now like to move forward with our women's competition. Kappa Delta Sorority was founded on October 23rd, 1897 in Farmville, Virginia. The chapter of Beta Nu was locally founded at Toledo on April 27th, 1946. There are over 301,000 Kappa Deltas around the world and 170 active collegiate chapters. Kappa Delta supports Prevent Child Abuse America and Girl Scouts in America through events such as Shamrock Shakes and KD Mac and Cheese. Kappa Delta's core values include friendship and loyalty, personal integrity, lifelong learning, and selfless service. Kappa Delta strive to spread confidence and positivity each day. Last year, KD placed third at Songfest, and this year, Rocky's Roaring Records have really got them falling in love. Tonight, Kappa Delta songs showcase the story of having a crush and falling in love. So don't go breaking their hearts. Presenting with love, Kappa Delta.
Founded at the university in 1945, Alpha Chi Omega focuses on empowering real strong women to reach the heights through sisterhood, service, and leadership development. The women of Alpha Chi Omega are committed to spreading awareness about domestic violence, working with survivors, and raising money for the Bethany House through events such as Nacho Night and Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. Tonight, Alpha Chi Omega wants to share that it's important to never give up on your dreams. No matter how difficult they may appear, always know that there will be someone to help when things are hard. With the support and helping hands of the people you love, it's never impossible to reach your dreams. Presenting an Alpha Chi Dream.
Delta 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 was founded in 1888 on the ideals of creating a community full of unique women who are brave, bold, and kind. The three values of Tri Delta are truth, self-sacrifice, and friendship. Tri Delta established the University of Toledo Phi Alpha Chapter in 1944. Tri Delta's philanthropy is children's cancer research and has had a partnership with St. Jude since 1999 and are on the path of reaching their goal of raising $100 million for St. Jude by the end of the year. Tri Deltas are involved in a multitude of organizations, including Mortarboard, Student Government, Order of Omega, Global Medical Brigades, Pre Med, Pre PA, Pre Nursing, and Pre Pharmacy organizations, PSE, AK Psy, U Toledo Dance Team, and Rockathon. Last year, they placed second at Songfest and currently have the third highest Pan Hellenic GPA. Tonight, Tri Delta is inviting all of their sisters to come on over and get ready for a girls' night out. They're here to show you that your girls got you and you always look beautiful no matter what. They believe it's all about feeling confident and that with your sisters by your side, you're ready to take on the world. Presenting Tri Delta's Getting Ready for a Girls Night. Hey, girls night at the Tri Delta house. Okay, I'll tell my girls. Come on over, come on over, baby.
Pi Beta Phi was founded on April 28, 1867, making it the first fraternity for women. More than 300,000 Pi Phi's proudly claim membership throughout the nation and in Canada. Pi Beta Phi is recognized as a premier organization that was founded on the core values of integrity, lifelong commitment, honor and respect, personal and intellectual growth, philanthropic service to others, and sincere friendship. Pi Phi believes in the power of reading to create a more literate and productive society and has raised over $1,000 for their philanthropy, Read, Lead, Achieve. Last year, they placed first at Songfest, had the highest GPA, and won most improved chapter. Tonight, join Pi Beta Phi as they reminisce on simpler times when these artists made their way to the top of the Billboard Top 100 list. During the peak of their popularity, these women and their nostalgic anthems made us want to dance around our rooms and sing into our hairbrushes with the iPod volume on max. Grab your girl gang and embrace your inner pop star as Pi Fi presents Chart Topping Angels.
Phi Sigma Rho was founded in 1984 by Abby McDonald and Rashmi Khanna at Purdue University. After being unable to participate in traditional sorority recruitment due to the demands of the engineering program, they wondered why there were no, not any sororities that took into account the time constraints of engineering. After much discussion, they decided to start their own sorority instead. In the ensuing 36 years, Phi Sigma Rho has grown to have a presence in more than 40 schools across the nation. Phi Sigma Rho has never lost sight of the reason it was founded, to create a sisterhood of members united by shared professional ambitions, encouraged to lead dynamic lives, and lifted up by their sisters through periods of personal, academic, and professional growth. Phi Sigma Rho supports the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society through events like Phi Rho Churros and has been a leading fundraiser for Songfest the past few years. Tonight, join Phi Sigma Rho in singing along with hit songs that celebrate the essence of being it girls. These songs serve as a soundtrack to their lives, reminding everyone to embrace your individuality and remember your worth. Presenting Lucky For You, Phi Rho Girls Are Here. Alpha Omicron Pi was founded on January 2nd, 1897 with values of character, dignity, scholarship, and college loyalty. The organization's tagline is Inspire Ambition. The Theta Psi chapter was established at the University of Toledo on November 11th, 1944. 
Alpha Omicron Pi raises money for their national philanthropy of arthritis and partners with the Arthritis Foundation to support their juvenile arthritis camps because kids get arthritis too. Their most well-known philanthropy events include AO Pierogies, AO Pi Goes Blue, and Sisters for Soldiers. Members are involved in Mortarboard, Order of Omega, Levis Leadership, Lambda Sigma, Soul Purpose, and more. Last year, AO Pi won Chapter of the Year, Panhel New Member of the Year, and Greek Women of the Year, as well as raised $3,500 for the Arthritis Foundation. Tonight, take a trip with AO Pi as they travel around the world from London to California. Please welcome to the stage my sisters of Alpha Omicron Pi as they present Take a Trip with Alpha Omicron Pi.
Chi Omega was nationally founded April 5, 1895, and was founded at the University of Toledo on November 3, 1944. They are founded on the values of friendship, service, scholarship, campus involvement, career development, and high standards of personnel. Chi Omega has partnered with the Make-A-Wish Foundation since 2002 and has granted over 3,000 wishes to children and their families. In the last three years, Chi Omega has been able to grant three local wishes and raise over $25,000 for Make-A-Wish. Tonight, join Chi Omega on a heartbreak journey through song as they bridge timeless tunes and sisterhood bonds. Presenting Chi Omega's Heartbreak Trebles. Alpha Z Delta was founded nationally in 1893 at Lombard College in Illinois with the core values of leadership, sisterhood, knowledge, and service. 
The Theta Chi chapter at Toledo was established in 1997. Their philanthropy, the Kindly Hearts Initiative, supports kids and teens experiencing foster care and homelessness. They raise money through their events, CD with Disease, Amazing Challenge, and Letters of Love. Alpha C Delta has members involved in many campus organizations such as Mortarboard, Order of Omega, Rockathon, PSC, Panhel Executive Board, Circle K, NSSLHA, Theta Tau, Wibble, Snowpile, and more. Last year, Alpha C Delta placed third in homecoming with their partners, Pi Kappa Phi. Tonight, the fuzzies are heartbroken, but instead of sitting around crying and being sad about it, there's a fire burning inside them. These girls came to show everyone that Alpha Z is better than revenge.
Thank you to all the performers in the women's competition. All of your hard work and dedication was clearly evident on the stage this evening. I would now like to welcome to the stage Lainey Hoyt from the Philanthropy Committee. Hello, everyone. We would now like to announce that this will be your last opportunity to contribute to tonight's philanthropy, Sunshine Communities, which makes a lasting impact on those in this community. This is your final chance to cast a vote for the organization of your choosing to win the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. You can vote through donations and every contribution counts, even if it's just a dollar. We will stop accepting donations at 7.40 p.m. However, please feel free to donate to Sunshine Communities personally. We thank you for your continued support. We will now bring the current class of Blue Key Honor Society to the stage for recognition and the introduction of the class of 2024 to 2025. I would like to welcome our current president, Ms. Megan Carl. Eighty-nine years ago, an organization known as the ARCS was formed at the university to recognize men who were actively involved in service and leadership within the UT community. Membership was limited to just 13 upper-class students. In 1952, the organization was accepted as a chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society, founded on the pillars of leadership, scholarship, and service. As keepers of tradition, we have the honor of upholding two of the university's oldest traditions, the Edward C. Smakel Homecoming Parade and co-sponsoring Songfest. Before the presentation of this year's inductees, I would like to introduce the 2023-2024 class. Brother One, Lainey Hoyt. Brother Two, myself, Megan Carl. Brother Three, Erica Sakoto. Brother four, Rudy Dua. Brother five, Jacob Lombardi. Brother six, Sammy Newberger. Brother seven, Abby Kohler. Brother four, Athir Ammer. Brother nine, Sean Hanna. Brother 10, Chloe Weaver. Brother 11, Colin Tews. Brother 12, Adam Fredericks. And brother 13, Tarek Devillery. It is now my pleasure to begin the introduction to the 2024-2025 class of the Blue Key Honor Society. As always, the decision was not an easy one. Blue Key is proud to honor these truly deserving individuals for their dedication to and improvement of campus and surrounding community. As each individual is announced, please come to the stage to receive your Waldemar Key. The first inductee of the ARCS Chapter Blue Key Class of 2023-2024 is a student leader who believes in personal growth and self-love. He has found true enjoyment and fulfillment here in his time at Toledo. He is an active member in creating community on campus as a facilitator of the Levis Leadership Program and a Songfest director and leader in Sigma Phi Epsilon. He volunteers his Fridays and Saturdays handing out packed lunches to those with food insecurities with Bridge Brigade and Cherry Street Mission. Since coming to college, he has learned to be loud and proud of the person he is becoming, as well as instilling the same pride for those he mentors on and off of campus. Presidential Ambassador and member of Order of Omega Honor Society, it is my pleasure to introduce Carter Wheaton Rodriguez.
The second inductee has shown what it means to be a loyal member of her involved organizations and community. As a two-time Songfest director and a two-time executive board member in two organizations, she remains loyal, yet upholds objectivity by challenging previously underappreciated aspects of her roles. You may find her at marketing competitions, excelling in her internships, or in class to maintain her 4.0 GPA. Please join me in welcoming the second inductee, a brother of Pi Sigma Epsilon, the Vice President of Mentorship for Women in Business Leadership, and the President of Kappa Delta, Ms. Morgan Decker. It is my honor to introduce to you the third inductee of the ARCS this evening. This, ev this individual is a unique leader who holds great power within her voice. Undoubtedly, she is a strong advocate and remarkable role model for students in her organization. She serves as an outstanding mentor for the Black and Latino Student Excellence Program. She serves as a senior residence assistant who supports her residents academically, emotionally, and always strives to connect her residents with vital resources. Service lies within her heart as she volunteers her time to serve those residing in nursing homes with dementia and Alzheimer's. She serves as a vice president of Beta Lambda chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and the president of Black Student Union. She truly is a beautiful gem to this prestigious honor society. Please join me in celebrating the next three of the ARCS chapter of Blue Key. Miss Christina Charlie. I'm excited to introduce you all to tonight's fourth inductee. This individual is someone who always uses their energy to become a leader on campus. During their time at the University of Toledo, they have developed a love for Toledo and its amazing traditions. In her free time, you might see this individual coaching gymnastics, working as an intern for the Brady Partnership Schools. Through their internship, they devote their time into volunteering into a field study to examine the effects of low-income socioeconomic status within the Toledo Public Schools community. This individual is eager and determined to push herself and expand her horizons, which is clear to see in her involvement in Pi Beta Phi, Order of Omega, Gamma Sigma Alpha. Please help me in welcoming the fourth inductee into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, the current president of Pi Beta Phi, number four in your heart, in your line, but number one in your hearts, Miss Lauren Perry. I'm, I am incredibly honored to announce our fifth inductee tonight into the Arts Chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society. 
This individual has served to embody the pillars of scholarship, leadership, and service. I've had the great pleasure of watching this individual grow as both a leader and a man since the fall of 2022. He has been involved in numerous organizations such as Bridge Club, Red Cross Club, Circle K International, and Snow Pile of Toledo. In their time at the University of Toledo, he has served to foster kinship within his own fraternity, Kappa Delta Rho. By being the secretary and service chairman and by helping change the entire culture of his chapter. He has shown through his service with the Aurora Project and the Islamic Food Bank the values of honesty and courage. Please join me in welcoming the fifth inductee to the Arch Chapter of Blue Key, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Reed Andrews. This year's sixth inductee has shown their abilities as a mentor and leader to those they serve on and around Toledo's campus. This individual exemplifies his appreciation for the eternal growth and guidance of his peers through his participation in various positions he has had within his chapter. His involvement through Alpha Phi Omega, Circle K International, Cherry Street Mission, the Toledo Humane Society, the Aurora Project, and many more has all shown his passion for serving his community. He has immense pride for Rocket Nation, constantly improving the student experience among those around him and leaving an everlasting impact on the University of Toledo. This individual's ability to be an example for those he leads has not gone unnoticed. Please join me in welcoming the sixth inductee to the ARCS chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society, current president of Alpha Phi Omega and vice president of Kappa Delta Rho, Mr. Christian Madden. I am thrilled to introduce the seventh inductee of the night into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key. This individual grew in the face of adversity and became an outstanding leader on our campus at the University of Toledo. Bringing their youthful nature to their organizations, they became connected to all areas of the Toledo community and continue to give their all in the categories of scholarship, leadership, and service. Starting with her partic participation in Circle K International, she spent countless hours making dog toys for the Humane Society and holiday cards for local hospital patients. Her service to the community includes volunteering at the Eberly Center, T Toledo Grows, Big Event, and much, much more. Through her involvement in Ordo of Omega, Pi Sigma Epsilon, Mortarboard Honor Society, she truly understands the importance of making connections all throughout campus. Please join me in welcoming the seventh inductee of the night into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, 
the previous president of Alpha Z Delta, and the current vice president of membership of the National Panhellenic Council, a woman who is truly lucky for all her experiences, Miss Madeline Miller. It is my distinct honor to introduce the eighth inductee into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key. This individual demonstrates a commitment to those around them, leaving a positive impact on all who they encounter. Through their academic achievements and lengthy campus involvement, this leader demonstrates a crazy work ethic. When not excelling in the classroom, they assume a role in improving Toledo and the campus community through their role in Bridge U Toledo Big Event and donating their time to mentor students as a Levis Leadership Facilitator. Their successes have not been limited to personal achievement, however, but have been rooted in the success that they bring to those around them. From a sharp focus on improving the quality of healthcare by coordinating blood drives as president of the Red Cross Club, this individual works tirelessly to achieve equity and balance amongst his goals, activities, and achievements. It is not only an honor, but an extreme pleasure to introduce to you a role model of high moral character and tonight's eighth inductee into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, Mr. Dylan Hershey. Yeah. It is with great honor and privilege that I recognize tonight's ninth inductee. This individual always finds a way to make an impact in whatever community they get involved in. Through their involvement at the University of Toledo, they have realized the importance of working to serve and uplift their peers to accomplish great things. This deserving individual uses selflessness and determination as their guiding principles, hoping that through this, they might inspire others and advocate for a better tomorrow. As the student body president, he has gone above and beyond to expand what student government can accomplish through the installation of new cabinet members, such as the directors of fraternity and sorority life, period equity, parking, and dining. He has also recognized and served the Overlake communities outside of this university through his involvement in his home parish, Stony Ridge Methodist Church, and Cherry Street Missions. He has shown undeniable growth as a student leader and is a role model for every member with his fraternity Sigma Phi Epsilon on what it means to truly be a balanced man. This applicant has advocated and uplifted every student at the University of Toledo. Please help me welcome to the stage our ninth inductee, Mr. Lucas Will. It is with great pride and respect that I introduce our 10th inductee of the evening. This individual has fulfilled her passion of service and involvement by integrating leadership roles and giving back to her community and her day-to-day -day life. This student leader perfectly embodies the three pillars of this organization, service, leadership, and scholarship. These values are reflected by her dedication to Relay for Life, her involvement in her sorority, and her contributions to the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. 
She is extremely dedicated to her studies and is eager to learn as she pursues her journey to obtain her degree. Her commitment to giving back to the University of Toledo is seen through her attendance at the Kalahari Leadership Retreat, volunteering at the Medical Pavilion at TMC, and the Girl Scouts College Experience. She is the epitome of her sorority's values of friendship, loyalty, personal integrity, lifelong learning, and selfless service. Please join me in welcoming the 10th inductee of the night, a woman with passion for academic excellence and exceptional leadership, the current Vice President of Recruitment and Marketing of the Bay New Chapter of Kappa Delta and my dear sister, Ms. Joelle Obrey. It is an honor to welcome tonight's 11th inductee into the Arts Chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society. Driven by their values of acceptance and integrity, this individual has made it their mission to exemplify the pillars of scholarship, leadership, and service. Although this individual has faced his fair share of adversity, he has grown into a distinguished and respected leader through his strong introspective skills. While he is a faithful brother of his fraternity, he has played a pivotal, pivotal role in organizations such as campus activities and programming and presidential ambassadors. He believes that everyone can make a difference and spends his time serving those in needs through Hospice of West Alabama, Camp Kesem, and Bridge. Please join me in welcoming a brother of Sigma Phi Epsilon, Mr. Rohan Parasati. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is with great joy and a humble heart that I introduce the 12th inductee of the night. This individual's demonstrated fervor toward the accomplishment of their goals for a greater purpose proves what it means to give your all. From giving their time at Cherry Street Mission, serving those around them by providing shelter, food, and education, to participating in Habitat for Humanity, they have left their mark on the greater Toledo community. This individual exemplifies how one's dedication to their own personal causes can lead to greater good. It is a great honor to tap the 12th inductee of the 2024-2025 class of the ARCS chapter of Blue Key, the previous IFC Vice President of DEI, and the current President of Theta Chi, Mr. Luis Martino. Good evening, everyone. Our 13th and final inductee of the night has demonstrated their excellence on campus by being the epitome of true scholarship, service of others, and servant leadership. This student leader constantly strives to connect with and listen to their peers, colleagues, and members of the Toledo community by being empathetic, compassionate, and trustworthy. On campus, this student devotes their time by currently serving on eight different executive boards, including in their sorority, Kappa Delta. Additionally, this student leader is involved in orthopedic and exercise biology research revolving around osteoporosis. While her scholarship and leadership are truly evident, her service extends far beyond campus as she has devoted her time to food for thought and the community care clinic. This student stated, community service is not something we have to do, but rather is something we get the honor of doing. She truly embodies what it means to be a tower of leadership on this campus and throughout the community. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome me in introducing the 13th and final inductee of the Arts Chapter of Blue Key. 
the current director of programming for Big Event, the internal director for Relay for Life, and the current president of Presidential Ambassadors, Ms. Vanessa Heck. Please join me in a round of applause for the Blue Key Class of 2024 to 2025. The ARCS Chapter Blue Key Honor Society has been recognizing the University of Toledo's most outstanding leaders since 1935. This evening, Blue Key has chosen to induct two in individuals from the community who have shown tremendous dedication and effort towards making Toledo known nationally for its leadership and making significant contributions to our fine university. It is with my pleasure that the Blue Key class of 2023 to 2024 recognizes the following honorary members. Our first honorary inductee into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key has, dis has a distinguished career spanning various roles and institutions, and this individual has left an everlasting mark on the University of Toledo. In 2013, she embarked on a new chapter here at UT, initially serving as an academic advisor for criminal justice. Her unwavering dedication to student success led her to the Division of Student Affairs, where she assumed the role of program manager within the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership, focusing on fraternity and sorority engagement. Beyond her professional endeavors, this individual's commitment to community engagement shines through her service on the Board of Directors for Summit Academy Toledo and the Alumni Association Board of Trustees. Her involvement in Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated and Alpha Kappa Psi, the professional business fraternity, underscores her dedication to leadership and community involvement. Through her diverse experiences and steadfast commitment, she continues to leave an enduring legacy of service and excellence within the, within the educational realm. Please join me in congratulating our first honorary inductee of the night, Cherie Madison Emery. Our second honorary inductee into the ARCS chapter of Blue Key this year embodies the spirit of leadership and innovation at the University of Toledo and throughout the Toledo area. Appointed to the Board of Trustees by Governor John Kasich in February 2016, this individual serves as the Chair of Finance and Audit Committee, showcasing dedication to ensuring the university's financial stability and accountability. Additionally, involvement in key committees such as academic and student affairs, as well as clinical affairs, underscores commitment to fostering academic excellence and student success. As the founder and CEO of a marketing te technology firm servicing nationally recognized brands since 20, or 2007, this individual brings a wealth of leadership experience to the table. Leadership extends beyond the corporate, rel corporate realm, as evidenced by roles as founder and creator of TEDx Toledo, a platform dedicated to sharing ideas and inspiring change within the community. A proud graduate of the University of Toledo, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars, Mr. Will Lucas. And Mr. Lucas could not make it tonight, so Dr. Span will be accepting on his behalf.
congratulations to the new class of Blue Key Honor Society and the newly inducted honorees. Now, I present to you the 2023 to 2024 class of Blue Key with the singing of the University of Toledo alma mater. Toledo, Dylan Jean Stroutmore, class of 46, slowly with dignity. In tower shadows, voices now raising. The University of Toledo's powerful mascot was created during the 1966-67 to 67 academic year by the Spirits and Traditions Committee of Student Government. Various students were selected to dress up for several games. During the fall of 1968, the first official Rocky the Rocket, Bill Navarre, emerged. Clad in the Rocky costume, Bill displayed his super spirit at both home and away football and basketball games. The costume a waste paper basket with a pointed rocket top made of paper mache was made by the theater department. Roxy was introduced in the fall of 2011 and serves alongside Rocky to excite the Rocket fans. She loves going to athletic events and special programs both on campus and throughout the community. Roxy is smart, kind, and loves everything midnight blue and gold. Tonight, we are honored to celebrate two Rockets who served as Rocky and Roxy throughout their collegiate experience at UT. Roxy number 17 has been rocking around campus for the last two and a half years. She has some wild dance moves and loves blowing kisses to her Rocket fans. You might recognize her by her phenomenal selfie skills and playful charismatic personality. Some of her favorite memories include rushing the field at Bowman Green, riding the mechanical bull at 419 Day, the basketball dance with the dance team, the Detroit Pistons game, and hanging out with Rocky. She wants to thank her team, advisors, and Blue Crew for an unforgettable experience in the program. She's excited to graduate this May with a bachelor's in public health and a chemistry minor. She will be traveling to Ohio University where she will be conducting research in diabetes and insulin management. You once knew me as Roxy number 17, but my name is Nicole Miller. For the past three years, Rocky number 78 has been keeping the University of Toledo on its toes. Known for his goofy dance moves, crazy antics, and flirty fan interactions, Rocky number 78 has completed his mission of entertaining the number one fans in the nation. You may have seen him racing down the field of the glass bowl, trying but failing to beat many students in a race. Or he may have joined your organization's rowdy row at some point, hyping you up and stealing your signs and hats. Hint, hint, KDR and AOPI. One of Rocky's favorite memories is traveling with the cheer team to cheer on the Rockets at this year's Barstool Bowl in Tucson, Arizona. Rocky also loved capturing the Falcon from that school down south and presenting it at this year's Toledo versus BG men's basketball game. 
Rocky would like to thank each and every one of the loyal fans who attended games. You are what makes the University of Toledo so special. It has been an honor to represent the university these past three years, and Rocky cannot fathom how he got to be lucky enough to have this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This has been the hardest secret to keep, but the best one yet. It is now time to say goodbye to Rocky number 78 and say hello to my best friend, Jenna Hosfeld. Blue Crew is a secret student organization made up of 10 spirited individuals dedicated to instituting, reviving, and maintaining youth Toledo traditions. You can find them at numerous events on campus and in the com community, including home and away football and basketball games. They love to pump up the crowd in their blue or yellow wigs, painted overalls, and Converse All-Star shoes. Please welcome the members of Blue Crew as they reveal one of their secret members. Some of you may know Everest by her sparkly pants, her kisses she blows out to the crowd, or maybe by her huge yellow hair. Everest was born on September 28, 2021 at 2.30 a.m. Everest is the 121st member of Blue Crew and has loved all the memories she has made with her brothers, both in and out of masks. Some of Everest's favorite events included late nights wandering campus in mask, going to Cleveland for the MAC championships, and traveling to Tucson for the Arizona Bowl game. She also has enjoyed knowing who you are, even if you did not always know who she was in return. Everest would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her, but specifically thank her Blue Crew brothers, both active and alumni, for always welcoming her and being her big crazy family. Throughout her time, she has had the honor of serving this group as a historian and treasurer. When Everest wasn't dancing and shaking her booty at all sorts of events and games, along with planning away trips for the group, you may have seen her involved in our other organizations here on campus. You may have been sitting next to her in one of many business classes. You may have seen her on the football field as a marketing intern or known her as being an RA in Macomas Village. She has also participated for the last two years doing even more singing and dancing at Songfest alongside her sisters of Kappa Delta. By night and at games, you knew her as Everest, but by day and forevermore, you shall know her as Maddie Marie McClendon, and she is an avid Rocket fanatic. Congratulations to all of the newly revealed individuals. At this time, we would like to highlight our National Panhellenic Council. The National Panhellenic Council, often referred to as the Divine Nine, is a collaborative organization consisting of nine historically African-American fraternities and sororities. Established in 1930 at Howard University, the NPHC aims to promote unity and cooperative actions among its member organizations on matters of mutual concern. These organizations emerged during a period of time of race, racial discrimination in the United States, seeking to address social barriers and provide support for African American students on college campuses. Through their shared values of brotherhood, sisterhood, scholarship, and service, the NPHC member organizations work together to uplift and empower their communities. Please enjoy this video showcasing our NPHC members.
turn her back, turn the blood to D. Do the triple X when I'm in a free. Pull, pull, and I got home to a knee. Beat her back down, trying to ski. Turn around, come see the Round for round, finna till she sleep. Eat that pussy up, bone appetite. Take her back a day like I'm on a G. Slow it down, me like a Z. Double car, you gon' great to sleep. Two home, trying to f me while I'm key. Blame it on the when she getting beat. Going hell, I'm on her when I give a Going home, but I gotta keep it pee. Gotta go home to a buddy street. Yeah, she gonna bump and bump and boom. She gonna make that booty move. I'm in that f got that hoop in the mood. And we be kicking like something to the moon. We don't sit there, we don't pull the door. One of my bro hoop came out the ooh. I don't know, but that hoop with the ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh juice. Peachy, just like the fruit. She say that, that shit will fruit. I say that, that shit will goose. I just beat that b loose. Knock the wall down all I do. Hit that f like one or two. Three, four, two, that Before the final scores are released, Greta and I would like to present three special awards. Our first award of the night is Performer of the Year, which honors an individual. Sorry, a teleprompter. Can I get a, can I get a round of applause for, for Derek, who's running a teleprompter right now? He's doing a great job. He's doing a great job. There we go. This award recognizes an individual performer who went above and beyond to support their organization in Songfest. This year's recipient has shown great leadership and dedication to not only their organization, but the tradition of Songfest itself. The nominator wrote, he has made Songfest a major priority in his life and has dedicated a lot of time to it to make sure we do well. He has helped with creating new choreography and perfecting vocals. Furthermore, this individual has taken charge of his organization's prop creation and backdrop. He has even contributed to the success of other organizations by participating as an accompanist. Congratulations to the recipient of the Outstanding Individual Performer Award, Phi Kappa Psi's very own Duncan McLean.
Our next award is the Chase Duval MC's Choice Award, which honors the director of a participating organization that shows an outstanding dedication to Songfest. Chase was a member of Pi Kappa Alpha who served as their Songfest director. His dedication and passion for Songfest was evident in his performances. Chase tragically passed in 2018, but in his short time at the University of Toledo, he truly demonstrated his selflessness and passion for helping others. This year's honoree has truly shown brightly. They were a delight to have at directors' meetings and showed their great enthusiasm for Songfest even before we revealed our theme and philanthropy. They were not afraid to ask questions, consistently submitted required materials ahead of schedule, and were always willing to work with the MCs regarding important changes. This individual's unwavering dedication to Songfest was clear as they worked hard to bring their chapter back to this beloved tradition. They are undeniably deserving of this award as shown through their commitment and contributions. Congratulations to the recipient of tonight's Chase Duval MC's Choice Award, Theta Chi, Kenny Tran. Our final award of the night is the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. Throughout her time at the University of Toledo, Cheryl was always a strong and passionate advocate for students and giving back to the community. It is in her loving memory that this award was created. Throughout the night, people have been voting for the team they felt deserving of a win. It is with great honor that I now announce this year's winner of the Cheryl Thomas People's Choice Award. The award goes to Kyle Mega. At this time, we would like to welcome back to the stage a member of our philanthropy team, Lainey Hoyt. Thank you, Greta. We would now like to announce the highest fundraisers for tonight's great cause from each of the three divisions. From the men's division, the highest fundraiser is Kappa Delta Rho. The highest fundraiser from the co-ed division is the Catholic Student Association. And finally, the highest fundraiser from the women's division is Alpha Omicron Pi. <laughs> we would now like to present Sunshine Communities with the funds we have raised over the course of the last few months. It is nothing short of incredible for the University of Toledo student body and the Toledo community to come together to support such an amazing cause. 
Once again, the money fundraised tonight will aid in the contribution to Sunshine Communities as they renovate their homes on main campus. Please join me in announcing a total of $20,104 raised for Sunshine Communities. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. The trophy presentations for Songfest 2024, Rocky's Roaring Records, will begin with the men's division. Third place in the men's division of Songfest 2024 goes to Alpha Sigma Phi. And in second place, please join me in congratulating the men of Sigma Phi Epsilon. Finally, the first place men's winner of Songfest 2024, Rocky's Roaring Records is Kappa Delta Rho! We will now move on to awards for the COA division. In second place, please join me in congratulating International Student Association.
And the winner of the co-ed division for Songfest 2024 goes to Catholic Student Association. Finally, we will present the awards for the women's division. Third place honors in the women's division of Songfest 2024 goes to my sisters of Alpha Omicron Pi! And in second place, please join me in congratulating the women of, drum roll please, Delta, Delta, Delta. are the women of Chi Omega. We're not done yet. <laughs> we ain't done yet. Congratulations once again to all of the award winners in Songfest 2024. We would like to extend a huge thank you to our special donor and sponsor that went above and beyond to make Songfest 2024 possible, Coca-Cola.
Without your financial contribution, the tradition of Songfest could not have been carried on, and we are eternally grateful for that. We hope that you enjoyed this magical night of performances and awards. Greta and I would also like to thank you again for coming to Songfest 2024, Rockies Roaring Records. Good night, Toledo, and go Rockets!